right, welcome back, guys. We're back live at the 2020 WC VNEA 8-Ball Championships in Red Deer, Alberta, Canada. Watching some singles action today. And just bear with me for a second here, guys, while I get these comments loaded up and I'll get the names filled out on this scoreboard here. So I don't have to bug them while they're shooting. I'll just try to find where they're at in the draw on this table. Assume they're an A-side match because it's 1 o'clock. But man, there are a lot of players here. A lot of divisions. Try to scroll through all of them. Oh, I found table one. joining in just in time to watch the first game. What's going on, everybody? So I think, <coughs> actually, I'm sure it's a race to four in the intermediate. Do you know who's who? I do not. That is definitely one of the challenges. Yeah, we'll have to wait till they mark one on yep. the score and then <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll go look at the sheet. investigate <laughs> then try to remember some investigative services <laughs> always a challenge at these events I was kind of ball ballparking the numbers earlier there's got to be 750 players in the singles it's a lot <laughs> between the men's and the women's it is a ton So I would imagine it's going to be a fairly late night. I didn't really look to see how deep this draw goes. 9 p.m. at least would be the last match. That's if it was on schedule. So we're going to be here late. Make sure you guys are sharing that stream lots. Look at that little kick uh, shot. That is a really nice kick right there. <clears throat> Let me change the race here because it is a race to four. He's calling the corner here, I think. I kind of like the side pocket. Yeah, I think I like rolling the side too, but the corner is the bigger pocket, so I don't blame him for that. And maybe he was playing a two-way cue ball. Very well could be. <coughs> Left his opponent a, uh, a tricky one here. Oh, maybe Glenn Murray knows who Bruce is. So I think that was Bruce that just shot. That's a 50-50 guess. Well, and Samantha knows who Chris is, so we won't need to go check the score sheet. We won't. Awesome. Hopefully they can <laughs> update us. You guys just tell us who won the first game. Oh, oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? This guy's like, I'm on TV. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> he kicks two balls in in the first game. How well was that done? And see, this is like, I always remember people who do stuff like this. So once you tell me this guy's name, like, I'll always remember him now. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, oh, yeah, that guy that kicked two balls in the yeah. first game. <laughs> right? Somebody knows he's on TV. I'm going to guess it was Chris. Chris is in the blue shirt. Okay. That made so the, he was the two incredible kick shots there. The kicking machine. Is he in any way related to... 
Ryan Pittman, because his last name is Pittman. There's a Ryan Pittman playing in the tournament who's like a huge Q Sports Live fan. I had him on uh, on commentary. Where were we? The map attack uh, 520 under. Indeed. He's here somewhere. I was watching him play last night a little bit. I know he was playing early this morning too. Get this table still breaking wide open, but came up dry there. Well, I can tell you in my match, I did not play good. Oh, I'm still going over <coughs> in my own mind trying to figure out why I didn't play good. Well, what it, happened? It happens. It does happen. And it's such a short race, right? It is a it short race. It doesn't take many mistakes to lose a race to five. Lots of good players. And we do have uh, we do have chat lines open for both Facebook as well as YouTube at this point. So I'll have to I'll have to grind out on the B side. I don't know on that bracket if I get out of the bracket, do you get your life back, or they do want to redraw, or do they just carry on? No, there's no redraws. Single life you're down to. Then I know what the job is that you needs know what to, to be do. done. You know what to do. Grind it. And it literally is going to be that. Oh, yeah. It will be a massive. I know the massive. advanced is like that, too. If you end up on the B side, it's like you play at 8 a.m., 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m., yeah. noon, 1. Yeah. It's going to be fun. <laughs> it is so much fun oh, if you manage to make it through it. Speaking of Mr. Pittman. <laughs> Snuck up on us there. Like a ninja knew we were talking. That was good. Panama City, Florida tuning in. Kicking like Bruce Lee. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> this guy, let's see if he can kick a ball in here too, or if he needs to. Maybe he's just going to run out clean. Gets the little wobble drop. Do you play this off the 13 and just stick for shape? Oh, yeah, for sure. If it goes in there, that's nice and easy. Just like roll it even. Oh, but not that. Hit it. Not that. Roll it. A little harder. Roll it. Although, what do you do if your stripes? You got to break it out. You can't you got really a duck here. I think. Yeah, you make the nine ball float down for the ten. Shoot the ten and play safe. Although it's an easy kick. I would hate to leave the kick. You know, I just yeah. hate doing that. Anytime the ball's near well, the hole, I'm like the way uh, that he's been kicking. I'll feel comfortable yeah. leaving nothing for him. I actually, bring up a really good point there. You might just want to try to run out after what he did to you in the first game. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Paulie? Yeah, no doubt. Been a minute. Welcome back. Blaine wants to know how I'm playing. We're going to find out about three hours. But I would imagine I'll play okay. You start at four? Four o'clock, yeah. Very good. It's going to be tough. So many good players. Just got to get a little lucky, that's all. Yeah, I didn't have it in that match. That's uh, That last match, I did not play good at in, all. In any race in this game, like, you can play perfect or you can just not get lucky and, you know, so many weird things can happen. He did roll that ball in and he play did. safe. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, he's close. He's real he close. He's very close. Good effort. Yeah, I like the weight that he played that because it still uh, hampers up the 13 ball. Yeah, as long as he didn't, like, rub the 13 and make the 6. Yeah. You know, foul and make the 6. Yeah. He's still okay here. Left it plugged. So what's the shot here? Or maybe... I still like just trying to break that out, I think. Lots of ways to do it from ball in hand. Hey, thanks, Brian. Appreciate the sharing. Sharing is caring, as they say. Oh, and Blaine said, am I playing, not how am I playing? And I am playing at four. So I answered both questions. You know, you know, Benny, here's the shot I like. Just draw into the 11 and leave the cue ball back down table along, uh, along that.
bottom side rail as you look at the table. Yeah, that would definitely work too. Although, <coughs> although you could just hit it like that. It's still... It's still dicey though. Yeah, I still don't like it unless I look at the bank. And I really like the bank, then maybe I'll play the bank. Ken says, watching your Chris from, I'm assuming, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. I'm jealous. Mm. We gotta find a way that we can go down to Mexico, have cameras here, and just commentate from Mexico. Yeah, on the beach. Yeah. That would be awesome. Drinking a martini or something. <laughs> Who my fool and I really don't drink. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, but if you were in Mexico, and it was like an all-inclusive, <laughs> I probably would partake in a few adult. They'd beverages. be like, "Why is Q Sports Live drunk?" <laughs> right. <laughs> well, we're in Mexico. And it's all you can drink. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna be two-zero, Chris. Pretty quick here. Indeed, it is. And we got the viewer advantage shopping spree happening this weekend here, guys. This draw will be done end of day Sunday, or sorry, end of day Monday. Monday. So $700 shopping spree. Spend it any way you like on any of the Q Sports Live uh, sponsors, whether that's with Thumper or JB Cases or... Uh, Jacoby. Jacoby. Yeah. Uh, Brutal. Jam, Jam Up. However you like it. If you do want in to win and you're in Canada, QSportsLive at gmail.com. If you are outside of Canada, send a message to the Q Sports Live page. I'll let you know how you can get in it to win it. And we'll be catching up on all those tickets later on this afternoon, guys. Yeah, probably into the evening time by the time everything kind of shakes out and plays out. But fret not, I will get caught up. And Blaine, I think you're right. Yeah, he had to break it from ball in hand right away if he was going to try to run out. Yeah. Well, he hit that break pretty good, but he didn't make a ball. I did say, this, although this table is breaking super good yesterday, it can easily change overnight, too. Yeah. Well, they're spreading well, just not <coughs> getting a ball in a pocket. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be flying in the way it was before making like three or four balls last night. Gonna try to run low ball here. They look pretty good, as long as the three goes somewhere. Yeah, right now I don't know if it has a home other than the top right-hand corner as you look at the screen. Yeah, that was my first thought too, but he might have another problem. Well, he picked the window, he's on the four. Should find out pretty soon if that three ball goes. And I don't think I like breaking or attempting to draw breakout on this. There's a lot that can go wrong. Yeah, too risky, right? Yeah. Try to play like a low risk shot here. Uh, Blaine, we're on tables one and two. Uh, although I'm not sure, I think this is table one. Yeah, the one we're watching right here is, is table one. Oh, he dug down. Try to get that right away. I actually don't mind that based on where the 15 ball is. It was so thin, though. It was thin. But, yeah, I think his thought was if he misses it, you know, he's not selling out. His opponent's got to make something happen here. Yeah, the 9 leads you to the 15. Or the 10 or the 11. Or the that's 10 that's or the, the 11. problem, yeah. right? If you're leaving him that. So you've definitely got options. Nigel's like the best tournament announcer ever, hey? Yeah, he is. <laughs> He's funny. He is a very funny guy. <laughs> he keeps saying, uh, happy Valentine's Day, all you losers. <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while, he'll throw in uh, 140 or 180. <laughs> A tricky little out here. Yeah, I think. Oh, especially if the horns oh, get in the way. Wow. 
that's where you just take that shot for granted a little bit. You're already yeah. looking too far ahead. Yeah. Well, we'll see if Chris can uh, get one on the board for himself here. Bruce. Or Bruce. I don't know if the it's three. Somebody. Does the three go on the bottom right? I don't think it passes behind don't the eight. Tell from here. Uh, no. Well, it might cheat. It might cheat. I think he's getting. Oh, it's he's got too yeah. much rail. I think yeah, to try I, to cheat that. It would be risky. And then when you're cheating a ball that much, what are you doing with the cue ball? Yeah. Right. How do you get shape on something? I think he's hooked himself pretty much on everything here. I think ten is a big beach ball for the five six. Yeah, he's, he can see the one, but he doesn't really want to move the one. The he's old back bank. This is tough. This is almost a, a must make here. Well, they got close, but the pockets aren't that big. Do you like the combo to start this, the 12-14? Yeah, if it's... If it's dead wired, it has to you be don't want to leave the 12 over the 6. Ball. Right, and I think, like from this angle, it's, it looks like that might be exactly where it is, is just putting the 12 over the 6. Oh, this is good if he's short side on it, or he can shoot the 14 first and move I it. I like the 14 right now. Get it out of the way. You can even punch the 8 over a yeah, little bit. Yeah, what about nudge the 8? Because you always have the 11, right? Yeah. I think I like that. And just don't, like, bash into the 8. No. Like, nudge it a no, little. Just a yeah. nice mid-weight shot. Control. A little, yeah, a little bit less than a mid-weight shot. Back yeah. from Florida says bang time pool. That's a great shot. Yeah. That's a great shot. Good control there, like we were saying. He didn't really want to move the 12, though. No, you almost have to take the 12 right now. Yeah. yeah he's, he's created another problem. Oh, but he cheated that in there nice and <laughs> saved sure angle. Did. I think he'll shoot the 12 in the side next unless he can super slow roll this. Yeah, you got to just shape the side there, right? Yep. Does he have enough to get by the eight? Mm, I, I don't know. <coughs> Tough to tell from this angle. Can he shape it? He might have just called the bank. No? No, tried to cheat again. Yeah, see, and he undercut it and yeah. still didn't get there, yeah. so he was never going to get there. Yeah, that's almost one that you got to bank if you get out of shape there. Yeah, I think if you know you can't get on the eight, then why try yeah. the shot, right? Yeah. That's like a good note is just don't try shots that you know don't work. Yeah. Sometimes you just, you're like, oh, maybe it'll work this yeah, time. Yeah, you try to force it, <laughs> and it uh, it's never going to work. No. If, if you think it won't work, it probably won't work. Yeah. <laughs> well, that should, uh, should, should put Bruce on the board. And as close as he is to the one ball, I kind of like leaving the one there. He's got to take advantage here, though, for sure, whatever he does. Yeah. This is good angle. Go forward here. Two rails. Oh, going back. So Punch a little over. dangerous. That side pocket was there. Nonetheless, he gets it. He's on the board. Anytime you can add a ticker to your side, that's a good thing. Short race, too. You just got to get on them, right? Yeah. I think we got Mikey Burton playing at 3 o'clock. I looked up his match. Mr. Burton be here. in the house. Mike Burton, home team. Go check out their Instagram, Facebook, YouTube there. Give them a like, a follow, a subscribe. Some of the best guys in the business when it comes to real estate. Mike Burton home team, your Remax Realty professionals. Making it easy. If you guys are just tuning in, make sure you're clicking that share button lots for us. Yeah, we'd appreciate it. Of course, it is a Friday work day. And if you are at work, we really appreciate it. Nothing like watching pool and getting paid to do it. Cue ball went straight in yeah. on the break. Never a doubt there. Good chance for Chris to put himself on the hill. VNEA rules, so it's ball in hand behind the headstring. 
So what do you start with? Well, first, what are you taking? Are you taking high ball or are you taking low ball? They both look not bad. Uh, yeah, I think shooter's choice. Yeah, I don't mind high ball here, actually. I would actually start with the 15 behind I, the six ball. I, I like high ball. If you have a choice of both balls, you should take the balls that are around the eight. And this is why I like high ball, because it kind of clears the eight, and then the eight goes in like five of six pockets, mm -hmm. right? Again, I just like to get rid of this trouble. Yeah, I might have shot that first too, but. Right, and even roll up, and then you're on to the 13. It's pretty From good there, here. Yeah. Either way. Yeah, there's a, there's a quite a few ways to get out there. Can you draw back to the 13 now? I'll watch the side I pocket so. here. I had a touchy little shot. Oh, he just cheated it nicely to get on the 10 in the side. Gonna have to try to cheat this again to hold the angle. Yeah, can he just play a stop shot? I think so. Just a nice little touch. Cheat the pocket a bit. You could even you could use the seven if he oh, had two. to. Uh oh. Might still work. He might be able to just slow roll that uh, nine ball into the side pocket. Well, this is tough. Very what do you bank tough. this? The yeah. seven's sitting in a nice spot for that to bank. You're probably better off trying to play the bank here because to try to slow roll the cut. Like, it, it's really tough to make the ball, and then even if you make it, it's easy to just get funny on the 13. Oh, he reversed it back to the cut. If anything, I maybe spin this and try to go into the 13 or around it or something. Yeah. Because I don't think you could hold it there. Yeah. It's just too thin. You'd have to really, really cheat that with a ton of right-hand spin in oh, order yeah. to even attempt it. On the valley, that's like the, the last option you want to use for sure. <laughs> yeah. Patches Samuel Palche says, yes, I'm at work and watching. We appreciate it. If the boss comes in, just hand him a phone and say, hey, join along. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and if you are the boss, well, invite all your employees. Give them the afternoon to watch some good pool. Should be a fairly routine out here for uh, for Bruce. Yeah, that only somewhat tricky ball is maybe the seven. Yeah, but I, I think you can get on it right now. Yeah, get on it right now. Yeah, or move it, nudge it a little. Is that what he was trying to do there? Not sure. <coughs> so do you leave the four there for insurance, just in case? No. Nah, uh, you don't get out still on the pocket I would rather take the mentality I'm getting out anyway and just run the table exactly exactly that's what I was hoping you would say yes <laughs> I felt like that was a test it was a test yeah <laughs> but I wouldn't have blamed you if you wanted to leave it there too you know? no I think you've got you've got complete control of the table right now everything has a home take it down Patches will be here for teams. Awesome. Awesome. Even this shot. And a cross bank. I don't think I'm going to cut it. I'll cross bank it. I can go back up. Yeah, he was just playing like a safe. Yeah, he played the two-way. And that option is always there. But if he had made that cut, look at where that cue ball is. Well, this guy kicks like a mule. We already figured that out, so... <laughs> Right. You don't want to really <laughs> leave him a shot if you don't have to. Right. If you guys miss the first rack, you'll have to go back and watch it. It's Chris Reyes. Yeah, Chris Reyes kicks two balls in. <laughs> right. It's a great reason to be self-employed. Absolutely. Then you can play all the pool tournaments you want. That's, You're your own boss. That's exactly it. And there's definitely good sides and bad sides to that coin. Oh, yeah. Being your own boss. <coughs> definitely not all it's made out to be, that's for sure. <laughs> James says, patches suck. 
He's referring to uh, the pocket markers. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Still eyeing up some sort of shot here. Called the ref in to get a look at this one. I'm not sure what uh, what the plan is. Oh, he's gonna off the rail kick bank. If he makes this. Yeah, this would be impressive. Uh, he, he didn't hit it. It never flinched. No. Nope. Did he say good? Oh, no. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> he just picked up the ball and said, yeah. here you go. <laughs> well, chance to tie it here now. When it looked like it yeah, was going to be close to over, and now he's right in the thick of it. What's up, Lance? From New Orleans. Or Nollins. Nollins. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, he's going to be right on top of it. That is definitely a little close to the work. I need to call the ref back if he's going to try to cut it in. <laughs> Hopefully the ref didn't go far. Is he going to kick it? Oh, he's going to try to kick it and spin it. Touchy shot. Does he get the helper from the four? And the eight. Can't quite tell. He might He might have got him on the four. I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, looks like he's froze right up on it. Yeah. You're right. Looks like the four is in play there. Got the jelly roll. Although kick time for for Chris. Oh, oh wow. My gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him if he teaches kick lessons. We got really close again. That was a great effort. Hit the pro side of the ball. Wow. And that was like a really tough one. Like he had yeah. to spin that a ton. Oh no, oh no. Oh. Just to add insult to injury. When it rains, it pours, right? Yeah. Couple of missed chances there. Yeah, Matthew, you're probably right. Probably had to shoot the seven first there when he originally had ball in hand. Trying to go up and down on the last two balls, not ideal. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like punching off the rail. He's going to try to draw back for the side here. I like just punching off the rail just a little bit and take it to that top right-hand corner as you look at the table. Punch off and you're in. Yeah, that's definitely a, a preference for him. He liked the side. I don't mind the side there either, but for sure the, the corner is a safe shot as well. It's a bigger pocket and really nothing to do. <coughs> Put it in, get the cue ball off the rail, and you're home. Yeah, it's always better to shoot the corners before the sides if you can, unless it's like hanging in the side then, of course. But Well, and you could see on that shot when he drew, he did overdraw just a little bit, and it's those types of shots you can overdraw so easy, and then you're on that 50-yard line. Yeah, and he did overdraw it just a little bit. Yep. Not terrible, though. He made it work. Yeah, he made it work. Now he's on the hill here. And breaking for the match. And like we've mentioned before, this table is breaking great. <laughs> I appreciate that, James. Next time I'm in, uh, I'm in Chicago. What's up, Cornell? Imagine he's coming down with the team. He's 
So he made a ball here. He's got a look, but not that easy of an opener if he wanted to shoot low ball. So it's definitely a stripes table here. Yeah, I actually, I actually like stripes better because of where the one two is. Well, of course you can't. Yeah, there's there's just no way to really even get those balls out. The seven is in a really bad spot too. It's nice when it's laid out easy. You don't have to think about it too much. It's like, yeah. oh, I'm definitely shooting stripes. So do you take <laughs> this combo right now, the 914, if it's wired up? If it lays good, yeah, for sure. I don't mind that because it pushes the 9 over, you know, sort of towards 7. Oh, well, but he, he just cut up it and enough. he just up and stroked that. Took no time. Yeah, I think he shot that a little bit quick. He might have known he's got a backup plan. <laughs> with where the one two is. <laughs> yeah. uh, when does the winner play next? I would assume three. That's when I play. <coughs> I would think three uh, on the winner side here. Seven. We were close. Seven. Wow. <laughs> We were only within four <laughs> hours, which is much better than being within four days. Uh, yeah. We were close in that respect. They play on uh, Schmunday. <laughs> Schmunday, yeah. <laughs> He's retired. <laughs> He's not coming this year? Well, that's no fun, Cornell. Troy likes the screen switch, digital pan. It's nice to have a uh, couple different angles for sure. Yeah, it helps. Definitely helps us back here, <laughs> <laughs> not being able to see the table very well. Yeah, that's a nice shot. Although, although left himself a little tough here. <clears throat> he got those balls out though, like. That was a pretty tall task just to get those in the open. So yeah, if you can just make one good pot here, you might have a chance. I think I pot the three, or not pot the three, but I, I shoot the three into the 14 and take over that pocket. Yeah, it might have been the best option because cutting that two down that rail from where he was, yeah, real tough. Yeah, I think uh, my play there would have been taking over that pocket. <coughs> James is going to try to make the next 580 and under in Calgary. <laughs> the next one is a 625 and under with the bar cues. It's yeah. going to be an interesting one. <laughs> that one will be. 625 and under, you flip, and if you win the flip, you get your choice of either the break or you get first choice of the bar cues. Yeah, that's, that's going to be fun. Chris put himself in trouble. Rubble. Yeah, it was kind of weird. He played draw there, and the cue ball went between the 8-1 and just snuck behind the 1. It was a little bit unlucky, I think. Well, but he we'll did see, overhit it. Uh, we'll see what kind of kicking machine he is. What's yeah. going on, John, from Chicago? Brad tuning in South Dakota. Bill is also South Dakota. Welcome to it, everybody. And, guys, if you are just tuning in, you know what to do. Help Ben and I out. Smash that share button. In fact, Hulk smash it. So you're saying there's a chance. Oh, look at this. Real good chance if he hits oh. the horn and doesn't make contact. Yeah, there's a great chance. <laughs> I love, I when, love that. I love, yeah, when someone comes up. After, Just uh, after a match. Yeah, Dude, uh, I got a story for I you. I got a story for you. <laughs> Love it. Uh, what time is it there? Yeah, yeah we're yeah, Mountain one, Standard Time. 135, 136 now.
the story was not at all what I expected. No. Interesting. <laughs> See if Bruce can get this to 3 2, keep himself alive here. No doubt. Tricky it's little important sh little game here, though. Yeah, that was a tricky little shot. It was. To He's flick the eight like that and not scratch in the side. Like a lot of things could have went wrong there. Just take your time because this here is an important game. Well, at least he didn't make it in the other side, so Chris has still got to work here. Well, we'll see what kind of touch he has for this safety. Yeah, just float it. Looks good. That looks about perfect. Yeah, looks real good. Did he leave enough room behind the 11 to kick that way? Yeah, he can kick it towards the bottom right corner. And that's about all he's got. Mr. Jolly, how are you? Eric tuning in from Illinois. Matthew from Pennsylvania, I think. Yeah, Pennsylvania. Washington State we got. Oregon, Oregon. nice. We're all over the map in North America this uh, fine Friday afternoon. I had to think about that again. Yeah, what day it is? Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's tough. <laughs> it's always bad when you start an event and are lost on the Second days. day in. Yeah. Because <laughs> I usually get that way, you know, three or four days in on an event. But not but the not second day. the yeah. second day. A ball in hand for Chris to finish it off here. Oh, and Ken says Mexico, too. That is very true. Oh, and of course, Texas, says Lonnie. <laughs> Iowa. All over the map. Although I don't see anybody commenting from overseas. Usually we have UK or Philippines or Ireland. Last night we had some. Last night we had some Australia, some... Well, earlier we had uh, India. Oh, yes, that's right. Because he had to go to bed. It was 2.30 in the morning. That is very true. <coughs> Chris wins that one 4-1. One. I'll let you guys take a look at this poster again for the viewer advantage shopping spree. You definitely got to get in it to win it on this one. Lots of great choices there. Can't really go wrong. 700 for 20 bucks. Any way you want it. I know what I would get. <laughs> what would be your first, if you had none of that stuff, if you didn't have nothing, like, what would be your first choice? Well, you need a shooting cue. So yeah. the shaft, yeah. the Jacoby Black. Yeah. That's the first choice. That's yours? Yeah, for sure. Mine's the other way. Because then I can just buy like a cheap butt end and put the shaft on it and away I go. Yeah. And I can use a wall cue to break <laughs> until I can afford a thumper. <laughs> yeah, I would go thumper first. I think it has the biggest impact on the game. Oh, An immediate sure. impact on the game. But I can borrow somebody's break cue too. Yes. <laughs> but they is, won't let me true. borrow their <laughs> Jacoby Black yeah. shaft. That is true. Uh, curious as to the, well, the level of the players. I believe this is an intermediate yeah, intermediate division, and Chris played great there. He sure did. Took it down. <clears throat> so I'll try to find the names for the players on the other table. Meantime, we'll give a shout-out to Jam Up Nation here, guys. How cool is this idea? I kind of love it. It's like the best thing anyone's ever done, and I hope it really catches on. I do, too. And if you haven't heard of Jam Up Nation, what that is is a discount program that also goes to support the juniors in both Canada and the U.S. Two different uh, membership availabilities for you. You can buy in at $25 for the gold membership. It gives you a 10% discount on uh, all of the regular price Jam Up apparel on the website. Um, the full $25 from that uh, membership fee does get donated to either the BEF, which is the Billiard Education Foundation, or the CBSA uh, in Canada. The Platinum membership is 50 bucks, 
and a game, 25 bucks gets donated back to either the BEF or the CBSA, but it gives you 20% off for an entire year. So not really something you can go wrong with because you're going to get some really cool swag from Jam Up Apparel. If you haven't been to their site, go check them out, www.jamupapparel.com. Um, you can get custom-made team shirts. They're all sublimated. They are made in America on the sublimated side, um, not made overseas and then shipped over on a barge and so on and so forth. So um, amazing stuff, great designs. If you're heading down to VNEA or APA or BCA or any of those other events in, uh, in Vegas and you're looking for some team shirts, go hit them up. I'll see if I can do a score check on this match, see where we're at. I'll just wait till this rack is over because I don't want to distract them. Uh, someone was asking, am I still shooting with the Dale Perry? Yes. Uh, by the way, got to go for supper in Niagara. Of course, Sean. Sounds great. We'll play a little bit. Maybe put some money on the table. And instead of paying me, you can take us for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's a plan and a half right there. And I'll play the winner. There you go. <laughs> for double dinner. <laughs> Just remember, if you play me, I know how to beat you. Take my cue and smack you in the ankle. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Give you a little bit of a limp to both worry about. Both ankles. Both ankles. Yeah, yes. that's probably essential to get both. <laughs> Joey's a little confused with uh, what defines an intermediate. So it is very confusing, first of all, first off, because there are a lot of different ranking systems. If you were to define an intermediate... <coughs> by Look at that kick. Wow, these guys are just kicking balls in left, right, and center. If you were to define uh, intermediate by like SML standards, I guess it would be like a, a three to a two sort yeah, of somewhere in that. A B division would be like the novice. Yeah. A one would be like advanced. Yeah. Masters, elite, masters, right? Yeah. If you're playing Ted's League, it's maybe like a low-end B mm -hmm. would be intermediate. So it's kind of tough. only get Thumper Qs through Facebook? No. You can get them right here through Q Sports Live. We do get a little bit of a deal on those Thumper Jump Break Qs. And uh, if you'd like to get your hands on one, no more information, all that kind of stuff, um, just send a message to the Q Sports Live page. And I'll get back to you. I'll give you all the details of it. Right, Gary? Thumbs up for Damien at Jam Up Apparel. Cool, cool stuff. <laughs> the chat says, I'll play you, but we got to go hit each other in the ankles first. The only problem I have with that, Chad, is it would really be an, a little bit of an unfair advantage um, for you that way. Chad Tinney is a, a wheelchair player. I know, Chad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so me being able to club him in the angles is uh, really not going to affect him too much. We've got 2-1 here, guys. A side still in the intermediate bracket. But Chad, anytime you're wanting to play, I will definitely play. You're a hell of a guy. Well, I would imagine if Adam moves those dates and we make it out to Prince George to play in there the might tournament. Be a, yeah, there might be a little action there. Get a little ring game going. Right. What rule set are they using? VNEA rules. Yeah, I don't know whether Chad or uh, whether Chad, whether Adam spoke to you a little bit uh, there, Chad. But I talked to Chad, I think, four days ago, something like that, regarding your uh, your guys's event out there. 
Steven didn't get banned from here yet. No. <laughs> Only CC has so far. But it doesn't go without complaints. That's for sure. Well, and um, I'm of the opinion I don't care if Steven plays. I don't care if I play Steven. I don't care if I play you. Me either. And quite the opposite of the normal thought methodologies. I say bring the pros back. Mm -hmm. We had this exact conversation yesterday, right? Bring those pros back. Let them back in. Let me play Shane and Corey and John and Alex and and Sky and blah, blah, blah. I grew up playing Edwin even in yeah. tournaments. Yeah. So it speaks for itself That's too, it. right? Yeah. I wouldn't be where I am without playing yeah. guys like him for even. Sure. No spot, none of that, but... But again, that's that's you know not a common uh, mindset thought process. For sure, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Said the same about Shannon, of course. Yeah, Ducharme went through the same thing. He's yeah. too good. Shannon, do <laughs> harm to charm. The second a guy like wins two tournaments in a row, he yeah. shouldn't be allowed to play anymore. Yeah. For I me, it's like if he won two tournaments in a row, I need to I need practice to, yeah, more. Exactly, I need to get better. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll make sure he doesn't win three times in a row. That's right. That's my mindset. Yeah. But again, this could uh, this and could lead us into a tangent as we went on last night. Yeah, it can go on forever. Yeah. yeah. Which I can talk about forever. Yeah, and brings it up perfect there, Blaine too. No one's playing league for a living, so you know, shouldn't be too worried about that. Yeah. I'll have to try to see if Sean can get himself on the hill here. He's shooting at this table. Fortunately, here I know one of the players. So I knew who the other one was as well. <laughs> that is true. He actually looks in pretty good shape here to take a 3-1 lead. Might have to contemplate some lunch after this match, I think. Although... I, I would definitely have to agree with you. I'm not sure what to eat for lunch, I'm but... I'm going to go up to floor number nine. Floor number nine. As soon as this match is over and uh, eat some lunch and then uh, get ready to play at three. Because I got I to gotta get fired up for that. I think they do have food down here. I think I might try it today. And then I'm just going to judge for the rest <laughs> of the weekend, you know, like if I should go to floor nine. <laughs> I had breakfast there. It was good. Yeah, I'm going to go to the ninth floor. Did you go for breakfast? I didn't. No? No. I haven't... Uh, uh, when I went to Tim's, I got a little sandwich and stuff there, but they not had, enough. They had bacon oh. on floor nine. <laughs> Everyone's going to be asking us all weekend. Floor nine. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bro, can you get me in floor nine? Right. Good looking balls. Actually, somebody brought that up earlier, too. Like, these are all brand new balls. Gotta love high country promotions, you know. They yeah, do it right. They do. Flat cats, new balls, no messing around. Love it. Cloth still plays good. It might look a little dirty on the camera, but it's just the lighting in here. Yeah. Uh, playing a more experienced player gives you motivation, plus you gain knowledge and free tips on what not to do. Absolutely agree. And... You know, one of the other pieces of advice that I was given that I found to be absolute gold. Um, and you'll know it if you've played on the stream and ever gone back and watched yourself. But uh, if you have never played on a stream, pull your phone out. Most phones have cameras nowadays. Uh, and when you're practicing, record yourself. One of the best pieces of advice I was ever given was to record yourself while playing. You get to see... Uh, how you approach everything and, and what your stroke looks like and just really, really valuable information. You could see if maybe you need to 
Jacoby Black shaft in order to get through the ball better. <laughs> Jacoby Black, out of uh, out of all the ones that I've tried, and I've tried a lot of the carbon fiber shafts now, and uh, it by far is my favorite. Yeah, by a long shot too, yeah. And that's not just coming from me and Grant. I've heard that from a lot of players too. Yeah. Uh, what size tables are these? These are three and a half by seven Valley uh, bar box tables. Why not get TV sets for streams? I'm sure they have TV sets. They probably come at an extra cost. So you'd probably just get the regular balls for the regular price of the rental of the table, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like there's, th there's no direct lights, but I also know that High Country does have lights. <laughs> they do. Just they're not in the budget for this tournament, I guess. No. And good afternoon to you, Ray, tuning in from Ottawa, Ontario. Good break there, and he needed one. Probably can't afford any more mistakes here. Down 3-1, race to 4. <laughs> I will mention it to her, James. Although, uh, as much clout as she has, don't know if it would ever work. Sean wants to know if we're going to bring any cues with us. For sure, Sean, we're going to bring some cues. We got some nice Jacobis. Uh, why do you both feel this better about the Jacoby Black versus others? Um, Smoother would be like one of the first ones. A lot of them, they get a little bit sticky. They do. Um, myself, personally, I like the pro taper on a Jacoby Black. Um, where where the other ones don't quite have that taper. The uh, sound is a big one. Big. Even like I've seen some newer ones now and they still haven't figured out that sound. Yeah. Like you hit a ball that it just goes ting. Yeah. And I now, can't stand that. It still hits good. It does. But I don't know if I can get over the sound. <laughs> yeah. Well, and a, a lot of like any of the, the carbon fiber shafts out there, whether it's the Predator or any of the other brands out there, they're all going to hit good. They're carbon fiber. Of course they're going to hit good. And they're well made, I mean. Yeah. Um, the difference is, is what you're more or less accl acclimated to on the wood shaft. So if you do play with like a pro taper, a Z shaft, or one of those types of things, Jacoby is going to fit in nicely with what you're acclimated to. Um, whereas if you're not and not playing with a tapered wood shaft, you might like the Revo. You might like those other ones that don't quite have it. So really it does uh, boil down to, to personal preference. Ball in hand for Sean to finish this one off. And not a bad layout. Everything goes, everything has a home control the uh, the cue ball and you're pretty much home free. Yeah, and I like what he's doing here. He can section where he just shoots the nine then the other stripe down there, the 15 in the side. Yeah, 14 I think is down there. Yeah, it's a 14 down there. Once he shoots the 15 in the side, he'll be on like the 12, the 11. Yeah, he'll be on all those balls. Anything he wants. Yeah, see, the felt looks a little different from each camera angle. It's not trash. It's actually in pretty good shape. It is. It's just the lighting in it here. It is, yeah. Each camera that we've got, um, these ones here are Sony 4K cameras. Give more a true reflection, I guess, of coloring, whereas the PTZ camera that turns the cloth blue is a really, really, really expensive camera, but it, for whatever reason, filters the light a little bit differently. A hard tip on the Jacoby does not change the sound, says James. <laughs> That's because you're not hearing the shaft. You're hearing the hard tip that yes. goes ting. I used to play with the hard tips, I know. I used to love, you know, like a medium hard tip until I switched to the carbon. I don't know carbon if you want to put a hard tip on a, no. on a carbon fiber. I mean, I mean it's all about feel, but I wouldn't recommend it. No. 
there's a reason they come with a soft tip. They've done a lot of testing. Yeah. I use a McDermott thinking about a Defy for sure. Yeah, McDermott makes good cues as well. Oh, he hit that really good. Yeah, and like I said, he's like on all three balls there. So yeah. I liked the way he patterned that because he just can do whatever you want from here. I think pretty obvious to shoot the 11 stop shot. I could roll through this and play the 12 next to yeah. so. I think both of them go into that bottom left as you're looking at, looking at the table. Yeah, yeah, definitely lots of room for both. Yeah. Well, and, and John makes a, a comment here on YouTube that Q-Tech carbon shaft uh, has a nice taper. Also, the Muchi carbon shaft has a great taper. McDermott just came out with one that also has a full taper. And I think you're starting to see a lot of those guys kind of copy into what Jacoby started, um, but the difference, the the biggest difference between um, Jacoby and I think it's Mucci is the only other one that uses 100% uh, aerospace grade carbon fiber. Mm. I think that's correct. It's like the end all of shafts. It it's is. like the last yeah. shaft you'll ever have to buy. Well, and you get a lot of guys saying, oh, I can't pay that much for it. But you kind of already do. Uh, even if you have a wood shaft, you think about the number of times that you clean that wood shaft every time you go to a tournament. It's 20 bucks here and 20 bucks there and 20 bucks and 20 bucks and 20 bucks. Over time, that adds up. And once you get into a carbon fiber shaft, that becomes irrelevant. Well, and it wears down too. Like I've shown people their Z2 that's like garbage now because yeah. like, it's just worn out to nothing. Feral starts to wear out. Everything starts to break down. <laughs> um, I'm back. Thanks again for the suggestions for some of the tournaments in Amazing Canada. Side note, I absolutely love my Jacoby Black. Well, welcome back, CJ. Who doesn't love the Jacoby Black? Yes. I don't know. Well, he got real funny here on this last ball. <laughs> yeah, and all the, all of the, the, like I said earlier, all the carbon fiber shafts are going to hit really good. They're carbon fiber. You can't go wrong with them. Just boils down to personal preference. Absolutely, yeah. John says, I don't understand people paying to clean their shaft. I wash my hands a lot and keep my shaft clean. I only clean it once every two or three weeks. Well, uh, but again, you compare that to any of the carbon fibers out there. I've had my black shaft for, what have we had those for, eight months? I think I've cleaned it once. It all depends how much you play, too. I play a ton. If I never cleaned that thing, it'd be covered. <laughs> yeah. Even playing with a glove too, it's not. Uh, it's not saving it too much. There's still a lot of chalk floating around. <clears throat> Let's see if Chancey can keep himself in this match here. Good afternoon, Jim. And wants to be fairly straight on the eight, or sorry, on the on the five ball. Yeah, and just roll forward. Yeah. He's got a little bit of wiggle room, a little bit of angles okay. Yeah, this is perfect. This eight ball to stay alive. amazing how fast the, this can go just I mean one good break and it's hill hill anybody's match still I think he needs to apply some of the 
Ben Francis methodology. Just sit and wait for a chance and then That's run it. out. Give yourself a chance. <laughs> Stick in the match. And then if you get your chance, put one on him real quick. Even if he hooks you and you have to pull out your thumper, jump it in. <laughs> so just do it. <laughs> that Let's was the it. best segue yeah. ever. And if you don't have a thumper, <laughs> then we have two here at the show. Yeah. Show price six hundred dollars. First come, first serve. They and won't last, I can tell you. I'm sure they'll be gone today. I've had a couple of people already say, Are they still there? I said, <laughs> Yeah. Well you haven't come over and paid for it yet, so it's still there. Looks like Chancey is taking his washroom break. So we'll just run another ad or two here. Brutal Game Gear. You can go, go check them out online. BrutalUSA.com. What do you think of the Revo versus the Jacoby Black? Too thick for my liking. Feels like I'm playing with a piece of lumber. I've had a lot of people ask my opinion. A few of them had the Revo and they switched and they were like, oh, thank goodness you saved me. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely enjoyed the Jacoby better than the Revo. And I think it has a lot to do with the taper. Yeah. You want to get... A Jacoby. This is one way you might be able to get your hands on one. Buy into the viewer advantage shopping spree. $700 Canadian any way you want. You might be able to get a Jacoby Black for as little as $20 Canadian. How can't, sweet would that be? Can't beat that with a bat. Looks like still waiting for Chansey to come back, but it is Sean's break, I believe. I think so. He's on the hill with a chance to finish it off. Probably getting a little anxious, you know. I would be. Yeah, right. Chansey, if he was uh, thinking about this, then it was a great move. <laughs> Ice the guy a little bit, you know. Yeah. It's like when you're watching football and the field goal kicker gets up there and <laughs> just ready for yeah. the snap. Oh, time, time out. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just when he was ready to go. Uh, Sean says, uh, maybe if you're nice, maybe we can make a deal on a cue. We'll always make a deal. Deals can be made. We've come to the right spot. Yeah. Looks like a good second ball, but he's coming up dry. First chance to Chansey. Try to get this to Hill Hill. I've seen a couple Hill Hills. So what do you do here because that 9-3 is in a real tough spot, unless you can combo can it right combo away. It? I took the words right out of my mouth, but it doesn't look like he can. I think the two's in the way to play the 1-3-9 combo. Yeah, I don't think he can see through to the 1. And but that's you know what? Could I maybe use a 7. I don't mind the 15 up for the 10 ball, because the 11 gets you in onto the 9 ball. Yeah, you can chip the 3 out of the way of the 9, yeah. Got to have a plan for this 14 ball there, too. Oh, did he tie up the 12? Create another problem. Looks like he did. I think so. It'll still go into the, uh, into the side pocket. The issue is now the 14. Because you can still draw off the 13 and either go back for the 10 and then the 12. Then the 11 chip the 3 for the 9. But then you got to use the 9 to get on the 14 is tough. Yeah, but it can it work. It can. You can go two diamonds up or two and a half diamonds You'll up. You'll most likely have that angle, yeah. 
Yeah, and then you could just run into it or just slow roll it over there. Mm -hmm. But he missed one key step. You got to make the first shot. The, first. the first part of that equation. Yeah. Hello, mom, out there watching. Hello, adopted mom. She says, y'all, she's just getting ready for when you're in Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Grant's going to be in Alabama at the end of the month. But I say y'all anyway. Yeah. So I'll, I'll fit in. You'll fit in great. Fit in really well down <laughs> in Alabama. Well, let's see what Sean can do to try to finish this one off. He's in real tough here being solids. He thought, ah, I better just miss the first ball. Wait till he moves the nine for me. <laughs> yeah. A little reverse psychology going on there. Trap him. Oh, look, at she's getting fat. Hello, all y'all. Getting fancy. Anniversary Adopted follower, mom. I think two years. Yes. Nice. Why is that not three years? Right? <laughs> just kidding. She, she was a little biased when she first started watching because uh, she started watching only when you joined. Oh, probably. <laughs> That's probably what it is, actually. For sure. That's why it's only two years. That's fair. It is. I was a little biased, too. <laughs> you were. What's going on, San Antonio, Texas in the house? I think he's right here to just try to play a little chip safe. But you don't really want to move the nine out of the way of the three. No, you just want to kind of roll into it, I think. Roll into it, push it to the rail, and leave the cue ball right behind the three. Yeah, and maybe. Throws up to it. Yeah, and get the nine to, like, come back in the way of the three just a little bit. Yeah. Just to make sure it's still covering that pocket. Oh, he played the bank. He get the door down on it. What the? What a great shot. I didn't even know that was possible. I no. thought the three was in the way of that. Well, and I thought I thought the cue ball would kill and die on that three ball, and the nine would just come back and hit the cue ball again. Yeah. Yeah, he did well there, like spin it through that. That was a great shot. Drilled it. Exactly. Still in tough. That 14 ball is going to be the issue. 12, Buff obviously, in a bad spot, too. Buffalo, New York tuning in. It very well could have been a foul, but at break speed and no ref, his opponent didn't even flinch. And he probably thinks it's better he's still shooting. <laughs> I would think it would be better. Uh, I don't still. mind my opponent <laughs> yeah. still shooting here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one is going to get in the way of what his intended plan was. Can he go rail first for the 10 still? He just looked to see if the 14 goes off the 7, and that would be a smart shot. But, yeah, first he's got to go rail first on the 10, if that's even possible. Looks like from this angle he probably can. I would think he can. I might actually over hit that. I don't want to under hit it and end up behind the, the, three. the three or behind the six. I'm going to overpower that shot. Yeah, I don't like being him right now, I'll tell you that. See, now if he overpowers that. Then he's going he's through it. Gold. Yeah, it would have came on a different angle and he might have ended up better for sure. Instead, he's really stuck here, stuck right on that ball. Just going to thin it, try to keep it safe somehow. Not easy to do when you got three balls and your opponent's got all of theirs. Yeah. I think you try to throw this off the six into the side pocket. Oh, no, he just nudged it up to the six ball. That doesn't often work. No, six, six is going into either side or the top right corner as you look at the table. Still lots of options. 
Yeah, I feel like he's a pretty heavy favorite now. Even if he somehow doesn't get out, that 14 is still just in a weird spot as long as he doesn't move it. But These balls lead to each other quite nicely. They sure do. Ooh, I think he well under hit that. Yeah, he's definitely got more angle on the six than he would have wanted, and you do want to be shooting the six right now, I think. Get that out of the way. Yeah, I would uh, I would think so. Otherwise, you could change your, change your path and shoot the seven first, but I kind of like leaving that there. Uh, Amber, I don't think it's scheduled matches. I think it's it's kept on auto play. So whenever the tables become available, the next match is automatically assigned. Yeah, it's such a big tournament. They they don't have it scheduled. And, and, well, we can't see the schedule. We don't have the uh, CompuSport capabilities. No. Otherwise, I could look and see what they do have scheduled for table one, but... Well, and you brought up a big kind of point in CompuSport, and one of the one of the changes that they need to make is to be able to search table numbers. Do you think they would buy that idea for me? <laughs> 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 you think I could sell it to them? Uh, probably. They not. make a dollar a player, right? I mean, they're so. What's a dollar ten? <laughs> what are they? Well, what's 90 cents? <laughs> Rather, don't charge people more. I don't want people to pay more. They make 90 cents. I make 10 cents a player. I like I like the thought process, although I... But I'll settle for two cents. <laughs> you just start the negotiating at 10 cents. Yeah, I really don't think they're... No. Going to give you nothing. No. They'll, they'll give you a big thumbs up and maybe take it, hey, thanks take for it the run. suggestion. <laughs> Yeah. It would be genius, though, right? You just search the table number. That's the number I want to see. Yeah. And uh, Craig, Craig McLarson. I watch you guys all the time. <coughs> Need to do me a favor, my man, and keep your comments positive. A lot of these guys do go back and watch themselves, and it doesn't matter what level of play you're playing at. Everybody started at the bottom. And uh, there is an option for you that if you don't want to watch, you don't have to. Nobody's forcing your hand. I always want to watch those, like, those kind of people play and see how good they are. Yeah, by all <laughs> means. On the stream, under some pressure, you know. Right. In a 100-table right. tournament with 750 players in the singles. Yeah. We just don't need negative comments. No. Never. Right? It's easy to sit back there and be a keyboard warrior and we just uh, we don't need that. You know, a lot of these guys are just here for fun and get out with their teammates and get out of town for the weekend, have a good time. Yeah. Kevin says, I thought Grand had a match at two. I did. No, it was at one. No, it wasn't. You, it was at noon. You had a and match. Then I play at three. Noon, yeah, and then you play at three. Oh, yeah. So I'm actually going to take off your PDQ. Yeah, have we confirmed that? Should probably check, maybe. Hopefully you didn't play at two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's three. All right, you're still waiting for an opponent. Intermediate skill level is. Uh, the rank of the players that we're watching. Yeah, and I'm sure they have Fargo ratings. There's one of them. Gary says Chansey Bull 489. But I don't know all their Fargo ratings. And Greg, 
<laughs> you know, man, whether it's true or not true, how about you just sit there and just keep your comments positive or you can find another stream company. I don't, that's my last warning for you. Yeah, you only get two. That's it. You're lucky you got two. Yeah, usually I don't give two. I don't usually give two. Yeah. <laughs> so if you can't keep things positive. <clears throat> a lot of these players go back and watch. Yeah. So if you were on the stream and I said, wow, what a terrible shot. This guy is such a bad player. Yeah. <laughs> How would it make you feel? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Especially if it's, it's always like. always got to be one guy in the group. Yeah. Right? Maybe it's uh, the guy's first time playing a big tournament. Like, no you, know, you know nothing about any of these guys. So. Right? And if it hurts right. your eyes, that's fine. Tune out. We'll give you, we'll give you that one. Chancey Bull still alive here. Let's see what he can do. Looks like that ball goes. <laughs> yeah, don't we all make every shot from our laptops? I've never missed from back here. Thanks for watching, Joel, and everyone else out there. Appreciate yeah, you, you guys all tuning in. One of the best things about Q Sports Live, too, is you get to see a little bit of every kind of pool. Like it's, That's it. We're not just watching, like, men's pro nine ball. No. No. As fun as that is, we're an equal not. opportunity company, and uh, everybody started somewhere. We're not here just to promote high-end pool. We're here for pool, period. Well, let's see. Here we go. We could have Hill Hill. Eight ball finds the hole. It is it's Hill Hill. Hill Hill. Nice to stay alive on the A side. Going to be Chansey's break, it looks like. Another one of our great sponsors here at Q Sports Live is Jam Up Apparel. Go check out their website, guys. Lots of cool stuff on there. I like that these guys give the little fist bump. Good I luck. I love that. Yeah. It's a good sign of, of sportsmanship. Yeah, very good show of sportsmanship. That's what this game is about right there. <coughs> If you guys are curious how to advertise with Q Sports Live like Jam Up does, shoot us an email or send us a message through Facebook. We'll give you all the details on how you can get in on that. Great time of year to do it. Going to be super, super busy. Vegas events coming up. Lots. CCS Canadians, playoffs, sure. CCS Westerns, Penticton. There are so many tournaments coming up. Chansey with the break hill hill. He peers it down the middle, but he looks like he's not making a ball. Although, yeah, <laughs> there, there's some work to do. Definitely, and I don't think can really shoot stripes here. I think low ball actually I think looks low okay. Better anyway, yeah. You open with the one. I mean, the five probably goes in the bottom left, and the three goes in the bottom side pocket. So I think all the balls go here. You almost don't even have to move anything. Yeah, that's actually myself that will get that uh, quote to you. I've been trying to do it. Um, the problem has been um, that they may not need to kind of connect on that 
and he's been out on the road and now I'm out here so um, I will 100% get it done for you. So he tried to shoot the one and he missed it. Let's see if Jancy can figure out this table. Would you risk shooting the six and like spinning into the five eight to try to nudge those over a little Ooh. bit? You gotta be very careful you don't tie risky, up the three. But very high reward it if could you be. can do it. Yeah. Cause you could like nudge the five, three, and the eight out and be on the seven. <laughs> and you got the four over the side, like yeah. you could be that it sets the table up nice if you can accomplish it and it work out nicely. Then you go, oh, did he hear you? No, there's was no way. Picking, no, no, no. Was he, <laughs> was he picking up on your brainwave? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. That's actually going to work out nice because the four leads him to the three and the five. And I think you try to do that right away. Like shoot the seven to get shape on the four to get on the three, five. I just, just don't try to do too much here, right? No. Nope. Keep it simple. It's hill, hill. Yeah, he didn't keep it simple. He tried to do too much. He tried to spin in there right away. I don't know. Is he on the two? I think he's on the two, but yeah, this is a touchy little draw shot. Well, you could even just kind of slow roll it in. Three goes to that Play side. Play the three pocket. in the side, yeah. You just have to watch. You don't get the cue ball on the rail in a funny angle where you can't get on the five, but. Yeah, if you leave yourself kind of to the lower side of that angle, three goes in nice. Whoops. Oh, that's misplayed. Yeah, he, he mishit it. Yeah. Adrenaline stroke. Not where he was trying to be, that's for sure. You should be excited. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> Jam Up Apparel has the best quality clothes. I was excited. I had some stuff coming too. I was like just checking the tracking number every day. <laughs> Syria? Well, it's, Syria? it's honestly, it's almost... It's almost worse than Christmas. It was great. But once you get it, it's, yeah, it's awesome. You can't beat Jam Up Apparel. <laughs> 82 degrees in Florida. I don't know what the equivalent temperature is in Fahrenheit to what the temperature is here. but it, well, That would be a colder. 25 <laughs> plus. It's a lot colder than what it is in Florida, yeah. Johnny. But thanks for sharing that little tidbit of yeah. warm weather information for us. Appreciate that. Canadians. <laughs> we, we love that. <laughs> well, he tried to play the combo there, and sure he did. didn't move the four at all. Still not a walk in the park here for Sean, though. Kind of clustered up on the left side there. But I think the combo goes... Once he gets down there, I don't know if he can shoot it right now. Looks well, like we're sitting at about 25 minutes after two. I got to play at three. I hate ducking out on the last game. No, but you got to play. I got to play. Do and it. I got to get my, my mind on the, on the right track. <coughs> because, uh, I'm on the B side, and I got to grind it out a little bit. So... Uh, I'm going to leave uh, leave you in the hands uh, of, uh, of Ben. Appreciate everybody tuning in. I'm going to go get set and ready for uh, taking down whoever i got to play. Get it done. I know the job. Got to get done. I'll see you guys in a bit. What do you do here? Can you roll this in the corner and miss the scratch on the side and get shape on the combo, or does he have to stay above it? Could shoot the other stripe, the one near the eight. Go down there. You gotta make a good choice here. This is a key shot. <coughs> yeah. 
How are the sizes from Jam Up for the larger player? S lots, lots of sizes, Kevin. What's the biggest Jam Up shirt size? 4XL? 4XL. Oh, he tried to go into the balls, and I think he's got away with murder there. Could have scratched in the side, could have ended up down table with no shot. He ended up pretty good on this 12 ball here. Yeah, he's going to roll on and play safe. This is not a bad option here, especially Hill Hill. You just don't want to try anything crazy and make it easy for your opponent. So, If they find a way out of this, you can still blame yourself, but you got to tip your hat to them. So see if he kicks the four on the side here. Let's see what it looks like from here. It's actually not a bad line. Don't mind his chances of getting close here. <clears throat> Did he just call the one ball? Hmm. The two rail here to get on the one is a huge guess. He's got to be playing the four. Oh, he played the one. It's just it's too big of a guess on these tables. It's on a diamond, you might be able to judge that. Even still, it's quite a bit of a guess. Too hard to control off the second rail. <clears throat> but even from ball in hand here, it's still not that easy. I don't know if the 15 goes in the top right. If it does, then you can just run out from here. You make that shot, and then you get on the, looks like the 14s on that top side rail. That leads you to the 9, 11, 12 sitting right there. But that can be a very nerve-wracking shot at Hill Hill. There's some ways you can play it two-way, or you can just do what he's doing here and just play safe. Just nudge that ball out over the side pocket and freeze the cue ball up on the nine ball here. That's what he's doing. Just got to make sure you don't push this 15 too far. You don't want it further in center table because then the three one is kind of impeding a little. That is a little far, but he's still good. And he might even just get ball in hand here. Even if you kick this five towards the side, you can scratch in the bottom left pretty easy. We've seen lots of kick shots made today. Let's see if Chansey's got one in him to take control of this hill hill rack. But I think the only real makeable shot is probably the five in the bottom side. Kick it off one rail. He's looking at going two rails into the three. Well, that's pretty tough. The 11 ball comes into play. If he's going one rail into the one ball, he's in super tough. Guy that was in the final of the advanced scotch just came up said, can he find it? Oh, yeah, he can. And his partner played a fantastic kick safety in the case game. Sealed the win for them. It's another ball in hand for Sean here. Let's see if he can work it out this time. All the balls are in the open. How long is the stream tonight? Someone wants to know on the YouTube. Going to be a late one. Going to be a real late one. I would imagine midnight in the range of that. <clears throat> but
but I do think after this match, there's going to be a little break because I'm going to go get some lunch. Grant has to play. I got to play at four, so. I'm going to have to get something to eat now. Give myself some time to digest it. And I like what he's doing here. He should be able to finish this one off. He can play the 11, then play the 9. Probably play the 12 in the same hole as the 9. He's got lots of options on what he wants to do with that 12. He can play it pretty much in any pocket. Two rail at the three was a great effort there, too, should be noted. Ridgeback rails on this table, yeah. So he's got a nice angle here where he can just cut this nine in, go one rail, play the 12 in the same pocket next, and he should have Pretty natural angle on the 12 to get to the 8 in the top side. Just got to be careful you don't over hit this and end up too far away. He's going to be a little far away, but he's okay here. Just got to hold the nerves. Hit it. Now he's got to play the eight in one of these corners. I think it goes in both corners. Looks like it does. He's calling that top right as we're looking at it here. What you guys? Have a look from this angle here. Maybe give us a bit of a better idea what he's looking at here. It doesn't lay too bad. I think cue ball naturally goes into the four and just sort of stops there. So doesn't have to worry about that. Just has to put all his effort into the pot. Oh, and he hits it well, and he's pumped. That was a good shot. Really nice match from both those gentlemen. So with that, guys, I'll leave you with a poster for our viewer advantage I'll put up here quick. And then I'll, uh, I'll run an ad, and we'll shut it down, restart it for the next matches. So I'm just going to run and get some lunch quick, and then I'll come back. And you'll have me for a little while longer until... I got to go warm up to play. So I'll see if I can find someone floating around to sit in. But if not, I might just have to uh, wait till Grant and I or Grant or I are done or Ryan gets here. And then we'll have full commentary the rest of the night for every match. So thanks, everyone, for tuning in. I'll leave you guys with a quick sponsor ad here.